Welcome to Wander Orford Cliffs at scenic Port Orford, Oregon. This area is known for its distinctive Pacific coastline, awe-inspiring cliffs, and for having three state parks in it, which is a pretty amazing feat given the fact that the area is so small. Let's talk a little bit about all the things that you can do while you're staying on the Wander property. My name is Sarah, and in this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the amazing local activities you can do while staying here, from great beaches to wonderful restaurants to awesome outdoor activities. Let's go. This area has some of the most beautiful beaches you'll ever see. And when you come here, you're gonna notice a few things. First off, you're gonna notice the rocky headland, the cliffs. You're gonna see the soft sand. And you're gonna notice the waves are huge. I mean, these waves are like 10 feet tall. It's pretty crazy. Now there's a few different beaches I recommend when you're visiting here. One is Battle Rock Wayside Park Beach. Another is Hubbard Creek Beach. And finally, this one is Agate Beach at Saradin State Park. And this beach is known for the Agate stones, which are beautiful, colorful stones. Hopefully you can find some while you're here because these stones were so gorgeous that they were used in jewelry by the ancient Greeks. How cool is that? Since Port Orford has three state parks, it is absolutely fantastic for hiking. And you can walk along the misty old growth trees and see tremendous vistas like this one at Port Orford Head State Park, Humbug Mountain State Park, or Sisters Rocks North Trailhead. All across Oregon, you'll encounter the pioneers of American craft brewing, from the Northwest IPA to even America's first beer spot. You'll get it all here. And if you're looking for a great place to get some local beer, come here to the Porthole Cafe. They have a wide range of micro brews on tap that are all local, and it will just be kind of fun to try a bunch of different options. Plus, their food is unreal. They make fresh pies daily. I recommend ordering the fried string beans. I loved it. They also have some great sandwiches. They make their own ranch here, so that's an absolute must. That will come with the fried string beans. And of course, you're gonna want to get one of their fresh baked apple pies. Hello, I mean, look at this. Let's try it, let's try it. Mmm, oh my God, that is delicious. This spot is just so local, family owned. It's just such a vibe, you know? Port Orford is a coastal town whose past is rooted in fishing, and this means that there are amazing seafood restaurants here. One of my favorites is the Crazy Norwegian's Fish and Chips. Make sure you check it out at least once when you're visiting. joining me in Port Orford, Oregon. Between the unique activities and luxury wander property, we are sure that you're going to have an amazing time here. We hope to see you soon. Bye.